Hey, today I want to talk about how to attract the right woman. Okay, one of the things that young Christian men as yourself have maybe not done is pray. What the Lord has put in my heart to tell you to do today is to let him in on what your desires are and what your feelings are and what you're looking for in a woman. Have you ever thought to actually get into prayer. Now, I know in general we pray when we're like kind of feeling sad or whatever. I'm talking about deliberate prayer. Have you ever stopped and said, I'm going to put my plate down, turn my plate down. Some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. This is how grandma used to talk, turn your plate down, fasting. I mean, I know as men, we want to act, y'all want to act all cool. Like you don't have those emotions. You don't worry about those things, but you know, I have a close family member that's very, very important to me that once he decided to be vulnerable and shared it with his, his life group, he actually met the person that he loves like a week later. There is some power in prayer. Look, I, I'm not getting anything out of this because if I could tell you some tricks and tips and just use content to help me so that you just keep coming, you know, that would be good, right? But I could give you the truth. And the truth is, is that there's a spiritual part of finding the right person. We, we show up doing the right things, the works, but then there's a faith part to it. And the Lord led me today to tell you that, are you praying? Are you coming to him? You do not receive because you do not ask. I'm talking to Christian young men. You consider yourself a Christian. That means you've asked Jesus in your heart to be a Lord and Savior. You've repented of your sins and you believe Jesus is God living here in the flesh. If you are a Christian, that is the cornerstone of our faith. I can share that prayer with you. you can, I can lead you in that prayer to make sure that you've said the prayer of salvation so you know you're going to heaven forever. And when you are praying, you're asking God for what he wants for you. A, a woman who also has said the prayer of salvation. And that is going in the same direction as you loving the Lord. So when you're asking God, he'll answer as long as it's in line with what he wants for you in, in, as, it, um, as it stands to begin with. So the scripture that says, do not be unequally yoked is what you need to be thinking about. And you're praying for the very thing God told you to do, to have. He's saying, Lord, I would love a woman that is, loves you and has received you, received you as your Lord and Savior. If you want to do that right now, just repeat after me before we wrap this up. Okay, repeat after me. And only in your heart, if it's true, will you be able to really be doing this. Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I believe you are God in the flesh. I believe you died on the cross just for me. I repent of my sins. I believe you're alive today in heaven on the right-hand side of God the Father. Come in my heart and be my Lord and Savior so I can live with you forever in heaven. Amen.